welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. It is Tuesday and first of all, I want to say I am so flattered and so honored and so happy how many of you guys are so excited that I'm back. I was just literally right before recording this responding to some comments on my I'm back vlog since then there's probably been another vlog um, from Sunday and so I appreciate all your comments so keep leaving me comments I'm gonna do my best to respond to as many as I can the first few days you know the videos are up because then we'll be recording a new video <laughs> but like I said in those vlogs I wanted to also bring you along during the week I know I vlogged on the weekend um, so obviously those are really fun because I'm usually out with Mia and my husband and we're doing stuff um, but I also wanted to show you kind of during the week when I'm working and I'm in my office, what my days are like. Like I said, I will do a whole separate morning routine video because, well, there's two reasons why. One, it would be it would be like its own video for me to vlog that, right? Because I, I mean, I can tell you what I do in general, right? Like I meditate, I journal, I go for a walk, I listen to an audiobook, I stretch or work out, like, but for me to vlog that, record that, and talk about it, it would be its own video. Uh, so this morning I did my routine. As you saw a little bit earlier, I just made myself some food. It's really important. I fasted, so I made my food at like, I don't know, like 11. I think after a little bit after 11, I honestly didn't know exactly what the exact time it was, but um, I try, I usually, it depends on how my body's feeling, like so many factors, and I'll share that as I go. I'm currently on the second, well, technically third day of my cycle. I'm also very much into attuning my life to my cycle, very, very into the different archetypes of each aspect of your menstrual cycle. I literally created a whole course called The Feminine Awaken, which is an, an entire online course where you learn to reconnect to your own cyclical nature. You learn about what's going on in your body throughout every single time of the month, what archetype that relates to, what why the energy is what it is, and you learn to utilize energy. Instead of, for example, expecting... Oh my gosh, like YouTube just starts playing random videos if you don't stop. But instead of expecting you have to feel the same all month, you start to understand, oh, I have my menstrual phase, and my follicular, then my ovulatory, then my luteal, and those each have such a different energy. And so, I'm um, anyway, that's, I'm so passionate about that, so I made a whole course about it. That includes also womb healing and ancestral healing and reconnecting to, I know this word is probably be so annoying to a lot of people, but I would say you're, I can't feel like I can't say it on YouTube, but you're lady treasure <laughs> connecting to that space i use a different word on instagram but i hear i'm just careful for, for just what language i use um and it's so 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 powerful and that i ran that course live and it was so amazing so many women took it again and it was so transformative it's available as an online course if you're into kind of feminine energy feminine art wanting to connect with your cycle learn how to utilize each part of your cycle learning how to do some womb healing and reconnecting with your pleasure and using that magnetism and your sensuality and your sexuality to really live a fulfilling and magnetic and powerful life that is such a great online course i'll link it it's called the feminine awakened anyway i'm in my i'm obviously in my menstrual phase and i'm very it's so interesting either i'm so hungry like literally I could eat seven pizzas or I have no appetite at all and it just fluctuates and today I was like didn't have an appetite until so much later if I ended up fasting and then I made myself as you saw avocado toast and then I added tempeh I always recommend if possible that you create a balanced meal which I'll explain what that means it's going to be the best for your metabolic health I've made a lot of posts about metabolic health so I'm not going to like dive so deep in here I am um, your metabolic health is like, of, of course, we think of obviously diabetes and we think of anything related to that, but diabetes is only one of the diseases that, that happens because of unhealthy, because of um, not having great metabolic health. Obviously, you know, obesity is huge. We see this globally. Like, it's crazy the statistics around this. I'm not saying this in a, any kind of rude way. I'm just saying this in a factual way. It influences so many other aspects. So having good metabolic health, there's a lot of things that go into it. I, re I made a lot of posts about it, like really in-depth in posts. Um, I even myself, just out of curiosity, got like a metabolic tracker and tracked my food and saw what affected different things and what spiked my glucose levels and what didn't. Main, I guess I'll just say the main three things that can improve your metabolic health is eating balanced meals, which means having a a veggie, a protein, a complex carb, and a fat. That's also going to keep you super satiated. So for example, I used to always just eat avocado toast, right? Which sounds like a classic, just avocado toast. But all that is, is actually a carb and then a fat. That's essentially all that is. Also, ideally, you want to be making it on um, sprout, like Ezekiel bread, because normal, a lot of normal bread is going to have gluten. Gluten 
for most people cause inflammation it's not because gluten itself bad it's because the gluten in the states in america is very different than the gluten overseas it's modified in a different way here there's so many books about the gluten in america i can't think of any on top of my head but i'm sure if you looked up like books about genetically modified gluten in america it would immediately like tons would come up i know there's like some famous ones about it so trying to not eat anything i mean anything you're, that's gonna, you're, you're gonna eat that's inflammatory is obviously not going to be good for your health because any kind of disease often can be traced down to some sort of inflammation i don't recommend eating like regular bread i know that's like harsh and i'm not gonna lie i if i'm out of dinner and there's some bread i'll like have some sometimes you know like it's it's about knowing what's if it's about it's about being aware and educated and most of the time making those decisions and then of course making exceptions because like i said i think i don't know if i spoke on a vlog it must have been on instagram or somewhere else if when you know too much like i feel like i know too much about health then you're aware of everything and then it becomes kind of hard to exist what i mean by that is like you're out and about and i see i'm at a coffee shop and i see that they're using a coffee that's like not organic and then i'm like i already know that that's could be, could be dangerous and then I know it's maybe it's not tested for like heavy metals or mold and then that causes anxiety then you see that they're using oatly milk and then oatly there's a lot of seed oils and gums and binders which if you're having it consistently is really bad for you and then you're like oh my god and then you go to like lunch and you know they're probably cooking with seed oils like do you see what I'm saying you can get like very you can really get, get very stress inducing and controlling so it's about having a balance of in your own life when you're eating and making your meals on average making not like I would say like nine you know people say 80 20 year old but most of the time making that healthy choice but also when you're out and about having some lee leeway like if I'm out at lunch it's gonna be really rare that a restaurant's gonna cook with a healthy oil such as avocado oil and even at that there's levels of avocado oils there's ones that have lots of toxins in them anyway as well because of they're not refined in the proper way and there's other things that affect them I'm sure but it's about having bal and balance because that stress that it's going to cause you to control the food is going to be way more than just like having it once in a while, right? So when I'm at home, I'm going to do, I'm going to follow my knowledge and what I know. And then of course, every once in a while, like I, if I'm out, I'm not going to cause myself insane stress by just like being like, I can't have anything. But back to the thing. I'm sorry I get off tangent, but I want to share when I say something that I, I have a reason why I'm explaining it. So ezekiel bread is a great option for bread that's a sprouted grain so it's although yes it has gluten it's a very much a different kind of gluten because it's sprouted so that's what i used to have and then i realized i don't get satiated from that like i'll have it and in an hour i'm hungry and so i started adding a um tempeh to it for that protein what would have really elevated it more is if two things if it was if i had like a carrot before like even just one carrot stick i've talked about this before but carrots if you have two carrots a day especially before your meal it helps flush excess estrogen for women so it's a really easy hormone hack an inexpensive one easy to do if I would have had that before, that would have really elevated it. And if I also had like some kimchi or some sauerkraut or something prebiotic with it would have been like the at the most great breakfast for me. And my day update and then we're going to get started. So in the beginning of my work day, I check my emails. Now I respond to comments. I order any inventory that we need for Lyft. As you saw, um, Lyft Your Frequency is my crystal jewelry line. It's all designed by me. It's all handmade by me here in LA. It, they're absolutely amazing quality and... I'm obsessed, <laughs> but I go through all the orders and I order the inventory that we need, whatever, whatever is like big. For example, our most popular bestsellers at the moment are the God is a Woman necklace by Landslide. <laughs> um, and then I think that Pleasure and Ease necklace, that Baroque Pearl one that you guys saw. And what's the other one that I can literally, I can literally look at my orders. Shakti Rising. That's another really, really popular one. So um, I just ordered all the things I needed for those. Then I have orders I'm going to be making today. Right now, usually earlier in the day, I'll do the more intense things, so things that require more energy. I'm planning to record a podcast, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go like, prepare right now to record a podcast. I still have to do some like admin stuff. I have to do some invoices and just do some stuff like that. Then I'm going to record a podcast, get that podcast up. Um, I'm going to post about the event I'm hosting tomorrow. I host online poll classes usually once a week. I just started doing this last week, so it's, if you ever want to join, they're called Melt. They are all levels. It's low flow focus, so it's not going to be any like crazy tricks and stuff. So it's, that's why it's all levels. It's for people, even if you're brand new, you've never touched a pole, or you're already an experienced pole dancer, you will learn so much. You'll learn how to smooth out your technique. You'll learn different sequences. You'll learn different flows. It's an amazing online class. I'm wanting to get into pole to make the investment. I know 
and the best pole to get and i'm literally i'm not sponsored i literally have this one in my own house it's x pole and i'm i when i first got a pole i got a random pole of amazon because i didn't know and i'm telling you as soon as i started going to a studio and using the x pole it's like night and day difference it's like Michael Kors and Hermes difference like I and I know because at first you're like the x pole is almost like $500 with everything and I know it's like most people don't want to spend it up front but I'm telling you that if you get the Amazon one eventually when you get you know good and you're gonna want to do tricks it doesn't spin the same it just is not the same quality the group's not the same I don't know what the coating on it is it feels actually a little bit wider like you might as well just get the investment once and have it last you and I know because it's like sometimes you're just like, I just don't want to fork out that amount of money for something, especially if it's new. But and again, you don't have to, right? You can if you just are, if you just want to do low flow stuff, you technically don't need a high quality spinning pole just for low flow. Um, so like for now, if you want to join, you want to get an Amazon one, you're like, I really want a new pole right now. This is all that makes sense for me to get, then 100% literally get it. But if you know that you're going to want to then learn tricks and progress, it's like you're just gonna have to take it down like I just have to take the other one down and put that one up does that make sense like eventually you're still gonna have to switch it out so if you know you're just gonna kind of do it for fun you're just gonna do low flow which what I mean is low flow is beautiful moves in and around the pole you can watch some of my Instagram reels I have tons of pole dancing videos so the ones where it's just like really beautiful moves in moves in and around the pole that's more low flow and anything that's aerial so climbing and tricks that's more we call it tricks right and aerial I guess aerial pole so um, anyway, I'm gonna pre uh, prepare for that like send out emails and everything for that um, And then what else do I have today? I have lift orders to make and ship today. So we're gonna do that And then uh, I'm going I have pole class this evening. We've talked about this for 15 minutes I'm gonna go put some magnesium in my coffee soon and get started on all my work <laughs> So I wanted to show you actually how I package, hand package all the lift orders and the process that goes into it. So first of all, I hand make each piece. This is one of the orders for just as an example. This is the Shakti Rising Necklace. It's so stunning. It is clear quartz. Um, it's faceted in a square with these freshwater Baroque pearls, uh, AB Moonstone, and then that's the pattern. It alternates. This is this customer ordered a 16 inch. It's the, my favorite way to wear it. Um, most of the necklaces you can purchase in a 16 or an 18 inch. Um, this is an 18 inch for reference, and this is a 16 inch if I were to wear it. Um, it would obviously flip for reference just so you can kind of see 16 18 I designed them this way on purpose so you can stack them So for example, this one would stack really beautifully with the god is a woman necklace because it is Also peach moonstone it has freshwater pearls and this one um, energetic shield. It's black tourmaline um, big big pieces and small pieces with a clear cords would stack amazing with um there's another necklace, I genuinely forgot what it's called. Oh, pr Protect and Amplify. And it's a clear quartz with black obsidian. So I kind of designed them so that they're stackable together. I'm not wearing a bra, so excuse excuse it. I cleanse and purify each of the pieces with a Palo Santo Rose and Wild Tobacco Spray. I clasp each piece. This is why so much love goes into each piece. And why sometimes it could take up to a week to have, usually the orders will ship. I mean, it depends on if we have inventory, but usually within a week. But because every piece is made with so much love, then it goes into a really beautiful little baggie on the envelope. Because this piece is a smaller order, right? It's just one piece. I ship it in this. I think it's one to three pieces we can ship in these. And then if it's any bigger, I will ship it in a larger box. So next, what I do is. Every order I put in a little card that says thank you for supporting our small business and then on the back it has um, just some instructions, some instructions of how to charge and activate your piece. You will wrap each piece in tissue paper. Can you tell we're about the details? I've been adding little gifts depending on your order size. So if you place an order over $200, I 
you get a larger mystery crystal. So for example, like something a bit bigger, like you might get like a chevron amethyst or you might get a double pointed black obsidian. I'm running this promo right now. So if you're watching this video, the promo is still running on. If your order is a bit smaller, then you might get some a smaller little gift. So for example, like a clear quartz speckle crystal. And so I just, I think there might be room to just pop it in. I'm depends on how far the orders ship. I'm more I might bubble wrap the gift. We grab a sticker. So I have these custom lift your frequency stickers and my nails broke off. Um and then I put this on the front of the package just to give it a little extra. I don't want to show any of the information, but just so it has a little extra oomph. But like I said, if your order is over two hundred dollars, you'll get a bigger crystal. And if it's uh, if it's under two hundred, if it's over a hundred but under two hundred, then usually you'll get uh, a smaller piece. So just keep that in mind. I'm running this promo just right now during the holidays as everyone's shopping so also i see so many i saw an order today of a guy or i guess it was this week but i saw it this morning he placed it for his girlfriend i'm assuming because it was a new cl new customer and that's just so sweet that you've wanted something definitely send it to your boyfriend i think it's so cute when i see that i'll try to throw something special in so yes yeah, i just also i already recorded a podcast it's already up on podcast platforms it's uploading to youtube right now um i'm making I made the orders uh, that I could make today, I'm waiting for some more inventory to come in, and right now I'm about to go eat, it's like 3 o'clock, and in, yeah, it's about, is it, it's probably even more than 3 o'clock right now, and I need to go package, I went to actually need to go package another order, so after that I'll eat, actually I'll eat and then package the other order, and then I will start getting ready for pole, I'll show you the outfit that I wear for pole, they're all really, really fun. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is it because you want to play because you've been waiting? Okay, so it's later in the evening. I'm about to go to pole in like a little bit over an hour. But I'm about to take some of my supplements. I usually take them earlier in the day, but I didn't take them yet. So I figured I would show you because I get a lot of questions about what supplements I take, what supplements I recommend. I'm always interchanging different supplements and trying different ones and seeing what my body needs because I feel like it would be very alarming if you took like you know, like a hundred different supplements that you felt like you had to take every day. So I have core ones and staple ones that I love. And then I'm constantly trying new ones depending on what I'm called to. And I feel like that's kind of how I discover new ones depending if I'm like, oh, I really want something for this or for this. And I end up doing research and discovering more. So I'm always trying out new ones and I'll continue sharing them inside like grocery hauls and things like that. But my current ones I'm taking, I have in this drawer plus right here. So the first ones that I'm taking currently are these from... Um, they're by Brain MD, which is by Dr. Daniel Daniel Amen Amen Amen, um, and this is just an Omega supplement. I noticed a big difference in taking them. My husband was taking these actually, and he said he really liked them, and so he ordered them for me, and I really really like them. They look just they're basically I believe from fish, fish oil, and. You take two. I noticed a really big difference taking these. I know these are also really, really great for your brain and for mental clarity, and I love these. This is the first supplement. It's the highest amount of DHA in a fish oil supplement. It's the market. highest amount of DHA in a fish oil supplement on the market. It has, uh, it has 860 milligrams of EPA, 580 milligrams of DHA, and then other omega-3 fatty acids, 160 milligrams. And then omega-3 fatty acids as triglycerides total is 1.6 grams. So take this. Um, it's not bad time, but I, I take this in the evening. This is GABA. This is by the brand Pure Encapsulations, the super high quality brand. I just take one. Um, you don't necessarily have to take these before bed. Like you can take it during the day as well. Um, but I like to take it before bed, like I don't know, 30 minutes or so, maybe before bed. It's really, really nice. Um, it really calms down your mind. I find that it keeps my mind... I don't know, like more, I, I, I guess like less scatter. I just find that it, it keeps my mind more like relaxed. Like if I take it before bed, if I have a clear mind, I'm way more likely to keep a clear mind while I sleep. Again, this is a really, really good brand. I like it a lot. I got it at Air One, but I'm pretty sure you can get it online as well. Then I take uh, Cursidin. This is so amazing for your immune system. Like it's actually genuinely life changing. I know that a lot of people when they're getting sick with you know what, they were recommending this and zinc. It's so, so, so powerful. You just take one pill. I'm gonna take these after I show them. Uh, I'll actually running low on these. Oh, you wanna talk about these? I don't take these, but. You've got them coming tomorrow. Oh, you ordered them for me? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so then I don't take these yet, but my husband takes these. How about you share about them since you're taking them? These are the Neuralink, and this I can tell you what's in it. It's really good stuff. It has uh, vitamin B, L tyrosine, it also has GABA, uh, L glutamine, L taurine, and 5 HTP. I also really recommend 5 HTP um, before bed as well. For me, it helps me wake up in a really great mood because it's a precursor to serotonin. People have different opinions on it. Some people say they don't like to artificially stimulate it. I find it great i like taking like 100 milligrams of it before bed how do you like taking this i take that in the morning and ever since i started taking that in the morning my focus is just on a totally different level like next next level improvements on focus so you heard it here first folks <laughs> uh i'll curse it in i need to order more i'll have time but you take this too right yeah that's my that's that that for me is a winner that and the um molecular hydrogen yes for immunity i feel like i've, I've when you, you were really sick, or well not really sick, you had a cough, your dad was really sick with a deep cough, you were all around, around me, and I, didn't, I didn't get, get sick it all, and I hadn't been sleeping at all. And we were sleeping in the down. same bed, obviously, and everything. Yeah. I take zinc, this is the Symbiotica Zinc Complex, Molecular Hydrogen, one, so you take like a glass like this big, fill up with water and drop one of these in it and it'll fizz up, and this has more antioxidants, I believe, I, I believe, don't come in, but it's like a hundred or a thousand more times antioxidants than like fruit or something and it fights free radicals there's a lot of podcasts my friend sent me on molecular hydrogen and how like this single atom is so so powerful and it's quite inexpensive as well for a supplement and what it does is so 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 amazing for your body so zinc molecular hydrogen i know we're getting we're getting down to it where's the other one no it's here oh allergy defense. allergy defense oh it's in my it's in the luggage you got the new one though Okay, yeah, I guess I can, I can show the box. And this is from Symbiotica too. It's allergy defense, and it has a bunch of great supplements and herbs in here. It has quercetin again, bromelain powder, nettle root extract. I used to make nettle root tea, nettle leaf tea a lot. Um, I guess this is nettle root extract, but, but butter burr extract, astragalus root, schizandra, which I know is actually really great for immunity as well. Mullein powder, olive leaf extract, holy basil extract, really great. I love Tulsi. Um, get it, you can get it in tea as well. I used to suggest it. It's actually in one, in one of my eating guides. I believe it's in the 21 day. Is it in the 21 day reset? No, it's in my original body by PV guide. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Isocursidin and then bioperine, which is black pepper extract. So this I really like as well. But those are the supplements. Oh, oh, and then, okay, I actually forgot two other ones. Oh my gosh. I also take ashwagandha, uh, the anima. I guess I'll just show it to you at this point. <laughs> I'm like, in the morning I make matcha. I take the peak matcha. It's like allegedly the best quality matcha in the world. So take that with a grain of salt. That's what I've heard. Um, it's like quadruple tested for, I believe, heavy metals and toxins and things like that. And I put in ashwagandha. Like I said, this is the anima mundi brand. And I just put two teaspoons in it. I'm like going, I go through it so quickly. I put this in my matcha, and I also put this in my matcha. It's the Anima Mundi Maca. I really recommend the link. I'll link everything I mentioned, by the way, down below, so that you can find it easily. And then in the, in the evening, I take the Symbiotica Magnesium l 3 and and I have it in a tea. This makes a huge, 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 huge difference for me. I know there's a huge difference. Like, this is amazing. I used to take it in the morning, could take it in the morning as well. Doesn't make you sleepy, it's not like magnesium citrate. Um, but I really like this one. And then in the morning I take this one, which is a golden mind extract, which has like a proprietary blend of a bunch of different things for your mind. And I also put this in my matcha. So that's why I think it's really good to have a morning beverage where you put a lot of your supplements in it because it's a good way to get into your routine because it is hard to take a bunch of like pills. So for me, I really like that I can like put, for example, these three, these three, things just in my matcha plus I get the benefits of the matcha and the catagens in it and things like that and then you know this I put in a tea and see sometimes I do forget to take my supplements but I just kind of want to show you what my current supplements were so you kind of knew and I'll link them down below okay so I just got changed for a poll I'm just wearing this like crisscross uh top with uh, a little like layered shirt over it and I have, you know, I always, you pretty much always dance in like a bodysuit or underwear or something like that, especially because you need your body to grip. I think a lot of people don't understand that you actually do need a lot of skin for your body to grip, depending on what you're doing. For example, last week I wore a long sleeve top, but I needed like my elbows or the inside of my elbows to grip. I obviously wear sweatpants to the studio, but under it I'm just wearing like a black, a black pair of underwear. I have something kind of exciting. I got a new pair of pole shoes today that I wanted to show you. 
I normally wear sandals and I wear, I think the most kind of popular shoes if you're pole dance yourself or you don't know, but they're pleasers. It's the brand probably the most popular. They're most like classic shoes, the Flamingo, which is like that eight inch shoe. If you ever watch pole dancing videos, I'd say nine, <laughs> nine times out of 10, they're probably wearing pleasers or pleaser flamingos that's what the majority of my shoes are they're basically a sandal those are really beautiful for like aerial tricks or like really melty beautiful like low flow moves but when you're doing more i want to say like dynamic moves or more exotic moves meaning you're doing a little bit more like a little bit more impacts maybe a little bit faster or maybe more spins or more jumps or more intense like landings um you want to usually wear i prefer wearing a boot for things like that just so I can know my ankle is safe. I can do it in a sandal as well, but when I know that I want to just feel like super safe and secure, I only have one pair of boots right now because I was such a sandal girl. I still am a sandal girl, but I feel like I'm getting more into boots. I have like the, uh, like the eight inch white, like latexy open toe pleasers and I love those. Uh, I performed in those actually when I like studio had a showcase, but I saw these and I love these. I saw this brand, there's another brand out there called Hella Heels which is like, I guess, a little bit of a little competition to pleaser. They are a little bit more expensive, but the quality seems to be a bit better. Um, anyway, I picked, let me just flip the camera. These up, so they're like a suede. I love this color. I found that the color was really, really unique. Um, it's like a suede, like lilac, almost like lilac slash nude. And I also love that the way that they lace up. I like the metal detailing and I like the ribbon lace up same thing eight inches that's pretty standard by the way in pole dancing I would say the standard size is eight inches keep in mind you're wearing you're on a platform so it doesn't feel like eight inches right so you might think like holy shit but you know the platform is this much of the shoe so you really don't feel like I don't know to me it feels normal at this point but also I started taking classes I've worn it um, I see some girls who are like been pole dancing for a bit even do nine inch Heels, I don't know if I've seen 10, maybe. I should ask, I have a friend on Instagram and she dances in really high heels. I should ask her what size heels she dances in. Um, but I try these on and I really like them. So I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna dance in these tonight. So this is why we wear kind of an all black outfit. So I'm excited to, um, to use these. If I can find any kind of like affiliate code or coupon code for you guys, I will. Okay, I just got to pull. I'm gonna go inside. I'm doing two classes. Like I said, I'm doing a heels class and then my like level class that I'm in. I'm go I always post a lot of content from Paul on my Instagram, so I'm not gonna bring my vlogging camera in because it's actually I record it on my phone, so it would be very difficult slash annoying to set up like my phone and I'd have to get a separate tripod for my camera and everything like that. So and I would have to edit the music out anyway. Um so I just if you want to see poll content, I'll include a little bit of clips on here, but definitely go to my Instagram. I post a lot of stuff. Actually tomorrow, well, when you're seeing this, it'll be over, but when you're seeing this, it'll be the upcoming Wednesday, most likely. Every Wednesday, 5 30 to 6 30. I don't say every, but like most Wednesdays, 5 30 to 6 30, I host my online poll class. You get the full recording, even if you can't come live. And a lot of you guys who maybe don't even have a poll yet are just grabbing the classes so that when you have a poll, you can watch them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hop on in. I'm excited to wear my new boots. I worked, I had like such a busy day of work pretty much all day. You know, I had the podcast, I had lift orders. It was just like, I, it was pretty much nonstop. So excited to just go dance. My body obviously is a little tired because I'm on my moon, but I'm gonna take it as a chance just to get more of my body, be sensual, be slow. And yeah, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. I'll include some clips from Pull after this and all the links to everything I mentioned, which I mentioned a lot of stuff today, will be in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed already and leave me a comment down below. Okay, bye, I love you.